Hello and greetings and salutations everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and today we're continuing on with our blind let's play of Owlboy. Now this game was developed and published by D-Pad Studios, which we have to say a very special thank you to them for giving us permission to do a blind let's play series on this and a game review after we finished. So we're going into our house here now and see what kind of what happens where we left off. Ah, oh, Master Otis, Master Getty, forgive me for hiding in your home, Otis. I would, let's see, you would do no good if the locals saw you fraternizing with a formal, former pri <coughs> a former pri pirate. There we go. Especially after what has happened. And then is destroyed. And there was nothing we could do to stop it. There we go. Mol Molestorm and the pirates, why would they do such a thing? Alphonse. Is there something you're not telling us? It's really hard for me to switch between these guys' voices. Alphonse! If you know something, anything, that can aid us against Ballstorm, it might help us prevent yet another attack on Vil. Vili. Vili. There we go. You are most certainly right, Master Kitty. Ballstorm. The pirates. And myself, we were all created by the owls. Whoa. Twa a plot twist. What? Your mentor is right, Otis. Molestorm is gathering ancient owl relics. And when he gets them all, he will be unstoppable. I will tell you what I know. No one knows what our original purpose was. Likely we were merely servants for the owls. Using our strength, the owls could reach for higher knowledge. They designed various models, each made for a specific function we were expected to optimize. We would constantly improve our abilities to carry out our functions. But as you know, ancient owls and what remains of their cities all but vanished. Without their guidance, we continued our tasks blindly for centuries. So the robots. Mallstorm's greatest among the war units rampage. Greatest among the war units. Built for war, he, he always needs something to destroy. None could oppose him. Those of us who could, didn't agree to follow him were exterminated. Molestorm took us to the skies and gave us a new name, Pirates. With him, with him as our captain, we roamed the skies, growing even more powerful, until at last, the captain heard of the relics. The relics are artifacts, artifacts of terrible power, remnants of the ancient owls, at their speak. Let's see. The Molestorm, their power is irresistible. Captain Molestorm has found two relics. One that was hidden in Veli, and the other in Avent. Wait. Wait. So, you're saying the pirates destroyed Avent just to get the relic? Yes, Master Gary. And now, only one remains. And if he gets the third and final relic, I'm afraid Molestorm will be unstoppable. Is there nothing we can do? There is, but I admit I am hesitant. My suggestion to try and stop the pirates in Avent put your lives in danger. Perhaps it would be best if we didn't try to meddle with the pirates anymore. The pirates are threatening Vili. We have to try and stop them. What happened in Advent wasn't your fault. I screwed up most of all. My sole duty was to protect us from pirates. If we don't fight back against the pirates, I can't even make things right. The pirates' next destination will be a ruin called the Floating Continent. In an ancient owl structure there, the owls hid the last relic that Maelstorm needs. 
We must leave Valley and fly her up into the stratos. That is where we'll find the floating continent. Then we should go to Stratos now. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> this is really hard, my voice. It's the only way we can save Vili. I shall be, I shall be in here hiding. Uh, I shall be in here hiding here until you get out of the village. All right, Otis, you ready? Let's go. The floating continent is high in the sky. If you head up after leaving the lee, you will reach it eventually. I shall wait here until you get out of the city. Ah, let's go ahead and drink our water here. Maybe. Sigu. No. I wonder uh, if we have anything new to find potentially. I don't think so. I don't think there'll be anything down here. Ah, there's the old owl rune. And uh, I'm assuming we've already picked up that treasure chest. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and head up now. Ah, we can also hit up that shop on our way up here. There must have been something inside this room, in, in this side, this room that the pirates wanted. That stubborn old fool, Asal, knows something, but he won't tell me. Could it be some powerful old owl artifact? Why won't Asal just cooperate? And there, here's this spooky, scary, crazy kid. <laughs> and saying the same thing, pretty much. The mom's all like super passed out there. This know the the characters when I'm thinking about this while I just look at everyone here. They kinda of remind me of kinda of like uh Wind Waker. Something you would see in Wind Waker anyway. That's kinda of the feeling I get from this. I don't know if you guys do as well. I don't think that's increasing our life anymore. And I'm sure they're just gonna say the same things at this point. And here we go. Uh, let's see what this guy actually has to say. Now uh, he has nothing to say to us. Maybe he blames us too for the folly of stuff that's happened. Oh, looky here. I'm assuming that's an owl there. Millstorm. Oh, so he got his second artifact that he was looking for. Got a little bit of an ear itch. Ah, that feels good. All right, so here we are. Continuing on. Maybe. Maybe not. Here we are. Here, okay. I wonder if we actually own the third artifact that he needs. All right, friends, this is Tropos. If we continue upwards, we'll eventually reach Stratos. I've never been that high up before. Is it really safe, Alphonse? Not to worry, Master Giddy. I sealed the Stratos skies plenty of times. There are no more dangers. There are no more dangers there than any other place we've been. Uh, all right. Wow, that was a really bad Getty voice. Uh, all right, that's the voice I was looking for. Ah, oh, we can talk to them. Nope. We drop you too. Get out of here. <laughs> Welcome to Tropos Buccaneer Shop. Straight up. Here we go. Oh, we got like 
the things. Whoa, see that rock fly by us? We got some mail here or something. Um, let's see. What does it say here? Ah, oh, we 100% to Owl Temple. Um, we still have plenty of coins to find here. Um, Owl Temple entrance. We found most of the coins there. And then we're going to have to come back and find the other coins. Uh, we're missing a few in Vili and a few in the Vili cave. And I'm pretty excited to be back here. Let's we'll see if we have something new. Let's see, what voice should we do? I can't remember what we did for her. Welcome. Let's tally up that booty. You've collected 1,114 Bucknary coins. Would you like a Well, let's see. Would, would you look at that? Time for another surprise. The next one isn't just cool. It's also very nice. You're gonna just love it. And that's my not terrible girl voice, but he he, give me a second here. Bogdan! Wah! Trinket time? Trinket time. Here you go. Oh, here you go. It's Buccaneary's nice soup canteen. Wrap your beak hole around that and tell me what you think. Wow. Level up. Yes, no need to thank me. Just bring bring more booty. Ooh, okay. Ah, we got achievement there. We got Trinket Master. And uh We did surpass this one. You collected 1,114 Bucknary coins? Well, well, well. You become quite the adventurer. I think you're you're what's the I think you're worthy of this next surprise for flying for high flying adventures only. Behold! Hurrah! <laughs> That's so cool. It's uh Alphonse hat. I have a hat. I can see that. Will you please bring it to the nice owl person? But no but or no buts. <laughs> it's yours, sir. I'll just toss out that ugly green hat then. Oh no, don't throw away the ugly green hat. Oh my, such a hoot style. Ha <laughs> ha, it's a little big. But it does make you look pretty awesome. I missed it already. That's that's great. Back to the shack. Yeah, let's see. Back to your shack now. Okay, madam. Yeah, we got another achievement there. And I... Okay. Hmm. Nope, it doesn't look any better than last time. <laughs> You already have it on your head, silly. Okay. Hmm, it's a scope. It's for a weapon of some kind. Alright. Um, I doubt he's gonna say, I wonder where my brothers are. I'm never allowed outside. <laughs> I'm not sure how we... Uh... Oh, that's a teleport device. How I get rid of the hat. How did we get rid of that last time? Welcome. Let's tally up your booty. Yep. Uh, collect 136 more coins for a surprise. Meanwhile, have you look at my trinkets all you wish. It's a nice soup canteen. It's been, it's been my own recipe, you know. But you already drank it, silly. Adventures in style. All right. Oh man, and I can't remember. We'll pause the video here real quick while I figure out how to get this hat off.
Well, anyway, guys, <laughs> I'm back here now. We're just going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Um, I'll figure out how to get the hat, hat off next time. But I always, say, like, I always say at the end of every single one of my videos where you guys flip that bacon. See you next time. And goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.